We are playing recipe bingo. We're gonna cook the food from the country that we hit with this Nerf gun on a world map. Looks like we hit the good old USA. So we're gonna start this series with an American breakfast. If we're gonna hit the US again, we're gonna cook their lunch and the next time we're gonna cook the dinner, which means we strike the bingo. If we strike a bingo, we're gonna travel to their country and we're gonna try their food and compare it with ours. If you wanna know what we're gonna do next week, stay till the end, we're gonna shoot the map again. And I can already tell you, it's gonna be a lot more interesting than American breakfast, so it's worth it, stay till the end. So, but let's get started with the good old American breakfast which includes bacon, pancakes, hash browns, and eggs. And we're gonna start with the bacon. For that, just go to your local butcher and get some nice thick cut bacon, even thicker than the one that we have here, and align it on a baking tray. Make sure they're single layered, not double. Just put them into an oven that's 425 degrees Fahrenheit or 220 Celsius. Let them in there for 18 to 20 minutes and you have some nice crispy bacon. I ended up rotating the bacon halfway through the cooking just to make sure they don't stick to the bottom. And when they're done, just put them on a kitchen towel to soak in all the bacon grease and that's it. That's how easy it is to make crispy bacon. Now it's time for our hash browns. We used around two to three rusted potatoes for this portion. Now just throw the potato up and it comes down peeled. Perfect. Get your grater and grate the potatoes. For that you should act a little bit quicker from now on because otherwise the potatoes start to oxidize and they get brown and mushy. You don't want that. So put them into a clean kitchen towel and then just wind them out to get as much liquid out as possible. So you can see here. Get your pan, put them on medium high heat Add some neutral flavored oil, I use canola here, and put all the potatoes on there, spread them out. They have a nice plate size portion. We're gonna let them cook for 10 minutes on each side, I would say, maybe 15, depending on your potatoes, and salt them and pepper them as well. A few minutes in, I added some butter, which helps to get a nice golden crust. And when you see that they're nice golden brown, just flip them and give them another few minutes on the other side, and your potatoes are done. It's time for our pancakes. We're gonna start with two egg whites. We're gonna whisk until they're fully stiff. Use a high container and a mixer for that because otherwise you would mix forever. Mix them until they look like this. Put that aside and we're gonna start with our dry ingredients which are two cups or 280 grams of flour that we put through a strainer to make sure there are no crumbs and nice and fluffy. And we're gonna add one teaspoon or five grams of baking powder, half a teaspoon or two grams of baking soda, one teaspoon or six grams of salt and one tablespoon or 13 grams of sugar. Mix all of that together with a whisk and make sure everything is nice and evenly combined and then we're gonna put it aside and we go over to our eggs. Get the two leftover egg yolks, mix them together with one cup or 190 grams of sour cream, one and a half cups or 370 grams of buttermilk. Mix all of that together, make sure everything is nicely combined. If that's the case, we're going to add four tablespoons or 160 grams of melted unsalted butter. Make sure it's cold though, not hot. And then slowly drizzle it in and keep mixing until everything is incorporated nicely into the butter. Slowly fold in the egg white into the butter. Just use a spatula for that and keep doing that until everything is nicely combined. But be careful that you don't break the fluffiness of the egg whites. Keep it until you have a mixture like this. Get a second bowl with the dry mixture inside and slowly drizzle in the wet butter that we just made. Slowly keep mixing until everything is combined nicely and we're done with our pancake batter. Get a non-stick pan, add a little bit of oil, put them on medium high heat and go ahead your butter. I added around a quarter of a cup for each pancake, put them on there, flip them when they are bubbly and make them golden brown on each side and there you have nice fluffy pancakes. And we are on the home stretch. We're gonna start with some scrambled eggs and then we're gonna do some sunny side up eggs as well. For the scrambled eggs, we use four eggs and we're gonna add half a teaspoon or three grams of salt and one tablespoon of 15 grams of milk. Just combine everything and let it sit for around 10 to 15 minutes, which should change the color to like a nice dark yellow. Add it to a medium hot pan let it sit for a little bit and we're gonna add one tablespoon or 14 grams of unsalted butter and stir everything until the butter is fully melted. Until then really make sure nothing is gonna stick and keep the heat on low to medium high. Then when the butter is melted go maybe up and heat a little bit, combine it and stir it until it looks like this and you can add a little splash of heavy whipped cream as well or some milk again and just stir it in and you have some nice fluffy scrambled eggs. Let's move over to our sunny side up eggs. Say hi to Andy and we're gonna crack open the eggs, medium hot pan, 
This one was a little hot. Maybe you want to do it a little colder. Just put them in and add some salt and pepper on top and just let them cook until you reach the level of cookness that you like. I personally like sunny side up. If you do that, use fresh eggs. Otherwise, you might spend the rest of your day in bed. Just be careful. If you flip them, if you want to flip them, just go ahead and just cook them however you like them. And that's all. That's all the steps you need to do to achieve your classic American diner style breakfast. Honestly, it's not my favorite. It's okay, but nothing special. And I'm super excited to see what else is out there and what other countries eat. So let's figure out which video we're gonna shoot next week. So my eyes are blindfolded, so I have no idea what I'm gonna look at. The first one went somewhere in the ocean, so we're gonna skip that. And let's see what we're gonna hit now. And it's somewhere in Africa. What country is it? I'm excited, I'm curious. It is Namibia. So I have no idea what breakfast there is like. If you know, or maybe you are from there, leave a comment there and let us know what your usual breakfast is like. And if you like this video and you wanna join us on our journey, hit subscribe and then see you next week for Namibian breakfast.